Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite DIYs. Um, if you're not a DIYer, I just want to encourage you, DIYs are very easy. Many of them can be easy, some of them can be a little much, but the ones that I'm going to share are going to be very easy. And once you put, uh, once you purchase a few of the ingredients and supplies, you can make tons of different things and increase the chances of you actually using uh, things that can be good for you. I love to make um, essential oil different things so um, that I just have all around my house. That way I know that I'm using them um, because out of sight, out of mind is a real thing. So I'm just going to go through and share some of my favorite things that I use um, for emotions and things using essential oils and some other ingredients. So the first one is rollers and I just get the um, amber glass roller bottles from Amazon. They're super affordable. I think they're like 78 cents a piece when you price it out per thing. Um, those are the best ones for on the go because you just add your essential oil and then a carrier oil like olive oil or coconut oil and you literally roll it on and you're done. Um, if you don't have a roller, you have to unscrew the um, top of the essential oil bottle and then drop it on and then rub it in and then you have oil in your hands. And depending on the oil, it may tingle a little bit if you touch your eyes. So you might have to wash your hands after. If you want something a little bit quicker and great for on the go, a roller bottle is the way to go. I use those for perfumes. I have an allergy one, I have an emotions one, I have hormones one. They're literally all over the place, in my purse, in the drawer, all over. Another thing that you can do is sprays. So you can use, um, same thing, amber glass bottle, spray bottle. Usually I do um, larger bottles for like cleaning sprays. Um, and then I will slip in even some emotional oils in my cleaning sprays sometimes. Sometimes you can um, just make perfume sprays. They make really little bottles for that. You can make room sprays, calm down sprays, monster sprays. Um, and basically the best tip for sprays is to add your essential oils and some kind of pink Himalayan salt in the bottom before you add your water. It just helps disperse the essential oils. And then before you use it, make sure you shake it up. So there's lots of different recipes for those. Um, you can comment below if you want a specific one and I can send it to you or I can just post it below if you let me know which one you want. The next one, which takes a little bit more effort, is um, different creams that you can make. This is better for nighttime applications or like a self-care cream or lotion moisturizer, um, like a bedtime rub or a cough rub. This may require um, a little bit more mixing on your end. It may um, require you to use your stove to melt down different ingredients. I know I've made lotions where you mix coconut oil and beeswax and shea butter and you have to mix it uh, melt it all down to mix it together and you have to get the consistency just right so the creams can be a little bit trickier to make they're not as easy as the sprays and the rollers but they are um, nice for nighttime because they it takes your body a little bit longer to absorb it because there's um the molecules are larger and it just slows things down a bit so it's more of a um, slow release throughout the night if you're applying it at night. And then the last one is powders. Um, you can sprinkle on your carpets before vacuuming. You can even add to the back of your fridge like um, a cup of baking soda with some essential oils in it in the back. You can even put it in um, a little bag and put it in your shoes for odors. But you can add whatever essential oil you like. Um, we like to use a lot of lavender for the calming effects. Um, Release is a good emotional blend. Um, peace and calming is another really good one, especially if you have littles. Um, stress away is amazing. And then any citrus oil helps to boost your mood. So you can really customize these for exactly what scents you like and what you're looking for. Um, and I will drop a link to a blog that I have that talks about lots of um, these in greater detail. Um, just trying to respect your time here if you are watching and keeping it brief and informative. Um, so I'd encourage you if you've never made DIYs to try it out. And once you make the investment of the few ingredients, then you're set for a really long time. And the essential oils go a long way when you combine them with these um, carrier oils and waters and things. So I hope that gave you some value.